in University Hospital Wishaw, there's a new arrival in intensive care. Oh, darling, it's okay. Born just minutes ago, baby Roman is six weeks premature. And is struggling to breathe on his own. Oh, dear. Happy. Dad Patrick is by Roman's side, while Mum is in recovery. I couldn't hold it together. I didn't know what was wrong. I didn't know if there was anything wrong. It's, it's just that much going through your head at this time. It's... Get back to daddy. <laughs> My heart's pure space. <laughs> As you can see, he's got a bit of extra yeah. apparatus on because he was working a wee bit hard. So this gives him some pressure in his lungs, which mm -hmm. keeps his lungs opened and allows him to oxygenate and blow off yeah. the carbon dioxide. And because he's, he was working a wee bit hard, we've had to give him some antibiotics. Yeah. OK. So that is him. Four hours after giving birth, Mum Claire meets Roman. You're a bit sore? Yeah, I'm a bit sore now. Claire has diabetes. She was admitted to hospital when her blood sugar dropped dangerously low. My sugar levels were dropping really, really low. They're just dropping for no apparent reason. Um, so I think I had about five or six hypos on Sunday. She was like spaced out. She, was, she didn't know where she was and she was just looking right through me. It was quite scary. It was quite a scary experience. Yeah, it was dangerous for us both, so obviously it was a lot safer to get him out and for me and him, so, yeah. Respiratory has been 60 to 120. Oh, really? Yeah. Right, that's quite high. Roman was born 24 hours ago. So the heart is not relaxing good enough to accommodate for, you know, Diastolic filling. Consultant Mahmoud Montasser is monitoring his lungs. He's still breathing quite fast and he's still on a bit of oxygen as well. So his oxygen is 30% despite that he had received the surfactant yesterday and managed to bring his oxygen down to 21% but he's just bounced back again. Roman hasn't responded to the treatment as the team expected and will need more help to open his lungs. Obviously, he's not well, that's why he's here, but we know why, and we're going to treat the cause. As you finish the surfactant, you should be able to see oxygen is coming down, sats improving, and then you just leave him. Not being handled, and hopefully he will settle down. I know, I know, this is going to be better for you. I promise. The surfactant has worked. And the team can begin reducing Roman's oxygen. There you go, buddy. You forget what they look like under the masks. Do you know what's going on with your little one? Yeah. Sort of. I'm sort of trying to take it all in. He managed to wean the oxygen and the mode of support. And because he's improving, we're just weaning down and he seems much better.
Many premature babies need help breathing for long periods of time, even when they go home. Oh, baby boy. Have you gone home, baby boy? Yeah. Trust the doctors and the nurses. I know they're not going to send them home if they don't think he could cope for he wasn't well enough to get out. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. I feel as if I'm confident enough to take him home. Do I ring the bell? Thank mm -hmm. you.